Hey, what's up, everybody? Philip Williams from WillJazzBeats.com. I'm in the studio and, um, yeah, just up in the lab right now. And um, I got some things on my mind that I want to share and hopefully get some impact from you guys uh, about and it's regarding. And so I shot, I wanted to, What's up, guys? I wanted to um, just really just kind of just record and just sit down and, and uh, share some thoughts on some ideas that I have concerning um, upgrading my current production studio. All right. I, you know, I've been doing this. I've been doing this stuff for, for a good while, man. You know, I've been doing this since the probably the mid 90s, um, like just messing with music and production and making beats and you know just this has just kind of been my world since I was 13 and I'm 39 now um but I so enough of that I, I wanted to uh just mainly just kind of get some get a feeler out um and see if you guys can give me some input on something I'm looking to kind of create a hybrid situation where I'm, I'm able to continue to still utilize the uh, the flexibility and the power and the, the editing power and the processing power of being in the box or or uh, inside the computer. You know, inside I have a, a MacBook Pro and I have a, a Mac Pro tower as well, an older version. And so that's where I do all of my processing and, you know, using Pro Tools, Logic, you know, all the stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm still kind of a analog kid, kid as well, because that's just kind of what I grew up with. And so I want to, and I understand, or at least have a, a somewhat understanding of the sonic capabilities and the, um, the sound quality that you get by using analog gear. All right. And so one thing that, that jumped out at me that I've been checking out is this piece made by a company called Soundcraft. They've been out for a long time. They've been out for a number, number of years and decades for that matter. A British company called Soundcraft. And they, a couple of years back, they developed a analog mixer. But this one is special. And I don't know if there's a whole lot of other mixers out there like this, but this one... <clears throat> it caught my attention because built in one of the models, they have a series of models, but one of the models that they have is a model that allows you to be able to, to uh, connect multiple inputs and do a full on 22 track recording session um, and where you can record via USB into your DAW. And then <clears throat> there's an ability um, through what they call a USB return, where they can you can return all 21 tra 22 tracks back to your console and then mix each one of those individual tracks within the channel strip. So each channel strip gets a return from the tracks that you just recorded into your computer, thus allowing you to be able to capture the analog sound um, and, and get the head, the analog headroom within uh, each track, and then turn around and then uh, bust that to a, a another bus on the, the mixer, and then re bust that back into your computer as a master track or an analog uh, summing mix. Um, and I read this, and I, I, I was reading this, and I started watching YouTube videos, and there's YouTube videos on this, but I just wanted to get some feedback uh, from some of you guys to maybe, hey, let me know, you know, is this something that I should be going for? Because, and then not only that, the price point, the price point is uh, very attractive. All of this that I just described, you're able to get in a package under $1,000, which, which is... <laughs> I think is really incredible. So, so really, what I'm asking for you guys, those you, you, if you're watching this, you probably already know what this is. Um, basically, I'm just asking you to give me some input on your experience. Let me know what you think about the mixer, and um, because 
I'm kind of on the edge to get this thing. Um, and if I do, man, I'm, I'm gonna run it through his paces, man. I'm, I'm gonna run it through his paces and, and test it out on my gear, on my equipment. I make, I make um, <clears throat> hip hop music. I make um, a, a wide um, variety of different genres of music. And so I want to be able to be flexible. And so, um, yeah, I could really use your help, man. If you have had experience with this mixer or know the mixer that I'm talking about, know somebody that uses the mixer, uh, I would love to hear from you and, and um, hear your thoughts on it, um, you know, whether they be good or bad, the pros and cons, and just to get some real life information. I mean, I can read posts and blogs all day long, but... Uh, at the end of the day, I really appreciate and value the input that I get from real people. All right. So uh, if you're watching this, if you're still watching this video, I appreciate you. I thank you for watching the video. Um, and uh, I look forward to seeing you on the next video and, and actually hearing from you guys. Uh, just comment down below and let me know what you think about the mixer. Is it is it worth the $7.99 ticket that, they're, that they um, advertise? And uh, if so... Um, you know, would you buy it? Or if you, you know, if you already have it, would you buy it again? Right. You know, having had an experience, it would it be something that is just something that you, um, really enjoy and you feel like it was a good investment, uh, to your studio. Cause at the end of the day, I want to make it a good investment that's going to last me, um, uh, for a long time. And so that's the thought, that's the idea. But I just wanted to kind of share my thoughts and let you guys know what's going on and, and kind of the direction that we're going with our, our, our studio. And uh, thanks for watching. This is Philip Williams from Wheel Jazz Beats, and I'll see you on the next video, hopefully with a new mixer. Peace.